sweet babies welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome so today we're going to get into this eco slay line when tresses of alexis hauled this and did her video the way she just read the ingredients they just sounded so good she read it like one of those waiters in a fancy restaurant reading the specials i was like oh i want that so of course i ordered it and here we are going to get our eco slay on today but before we even get started, y'all, I have to show y'all what happened to my hair. I have all of these nasty, gummy little balls in my hair all around the perimeter of my hair from putting my hair up in a puff with the Pattern Beauty Stronghold Gel. This is the second time that gel has done that to me. I'm so mad because the last time it happened to me, I had to use three wash days to get it out. So we're going to start off with this Peppermint Snops Shampoo from... Eco Slay, if you did not know about the ingredients, they are super good, super clean. It's marshmallow root, infused water, African black soap, jojoba oil, honey, rosemary oil, peppermint, lavender, essential oils, and some kind of acid. So you shake it up and it's super watery. So that's why I was kind of just pouring it into my hair. It felt good on the hair. If you've ever used a shampoo that has African black soap in it, you kind of know the difference in how your hair feels when you're using it um it didn't have like a super amount of slip or anything like that but the smell smelled good with that peppermint i did enjoy that and it didn't feel like it would be drying or so of course i was glad about that and i'm just really happy that these black owned brands are coming out with these products that have really good ingredients even though i'm not the most ingredient conscious person but i know good ingredients are good for us and i have noticed that the better the ingredients most of the time the better my hair does react so big up to eco slay for keeping it clean and giving us good ingredients so even though i use quite a bit of shampoo you don't have to use as much as i did i just prefer like a really good lather so you, of course the more product you use the more lather that you're gonna get but a little bit of it do, does go a long way and even though i used quite a bit of the shampoo i still had a lot left even with the runny texture and even though i used a lot and had a lot of lather it rinsed out so well so quickly so easily so i did like that and my hair felt good it felt soft um, normally when I use an African black soap shampoo, I kind of feel like I have kind of a coating on my hair, but I didn't get that so much with this. So my hair was nice and soft and it did feel like it was clean. So now we're going in with the protein shake, the matcha boost protein shake. So, so I decided to use this because I did need a boost of protein since I used a heavy moisturizing deep conditioner last week. The texture of this was pretty runny it smelled really planty like plant-based like spinach and kale or something like that um the ingredients are water satero alcohol colzal oil hydrolyzed keratin hydrolyzed quinoa matcha extract um a propendiol starch and some kind of acid but super short list super clean ingredients and we love it so once you start applying it to your hair, it definitely thins out even more. It soaks into your hair right away. So of course I was going in and applying more and applying more because I needed my hair to just feel like it was covered in the product. So you definitely don't have to use as much as I did. Um, I just use a lot because I just feel like I need to see it on there. So I know that it's doing something. Um, this did have a nice amount of slip. It says if you are low porosity and you have healthy hair, leave it on for five minutes. Low porosity damaged hair, leave it on for 30 minutes. And same thing with high porosity, healthy hair, five minutes and damaged hair, 30 minutes. So I left mine on for about 15 minutes before I rinsed it out. Okay, y'all. So let's check out this hair from this protein treatment. See how it is looking. My hair looks good. It looks good. It feels good. It's soft. I can definitely see that that protein gave me some strength and definition. I am so mad about this stuff in my hair though. Like, So now we're going to get into this banana deep conditioner. You can use it as a leave-in as well. It says apply a liberal amount of banana cream to soak away hair. Evenly distribute and leave on for 30 minutes. Use heat cap for full penetration and for thirsty locks apply as a leave-in. It has ochre extract, marshmallow root extract, aloe vera juice, satero alcohol, which is a good fatty alcohol, it says. 
uh, colzal oil, co coconut cream, jojoba oil, argan oil, banana extract, and germal plus. And it does say that you need to keep it refrigerated. It smells really good like banana baby food. And I used to tear that up when my kids was little. Like, I used to eat it. I mean, we shared it. It's a nice thick deep conditioner though. It's nice and stiff. It really doesn't have much slip. So this isn't something I would detangle with. And here's my hair with the deep conditioner in it. And you can tell that's like, it's a nice thick, stiffer type of deep conditioner. Since it is so thick, I'm trying to make sure I do wet my hair down to help it distribute a little easier because it is thick. And the water is helping it distribute pretty good. So I think if you don't use as much as I do, you use a little less and you're using it on soaking wet hair, maybe in the shower, then you may be able to get some detangling going on. Okay, y'all, so I have the deep conditioner all through my hair. I'm going to go ahead and put on my heated cap for 30 minutes and rinse it out and come back. And I'm just going to take this off because I finally rinsed out the deep conditioner. And here we are. I, I am... <laughs> Uh, okay, so here is my hair after the banana deep conditioner, and it does feel very, very soft, and it feels moisturized. It feels really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and apply some product to my hair because the, the balls from the pattern gel is pissing me off, and I need to cover it up, okay? Ugh. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and used the banana deep conditioner as a leave-in, which it says you can do. Um, so I just went ahead and did that since I already told you guys like how it felt in my hair, etc. But this time with using it as a leave-in, I sprayed a lot of water in my hair to thin the product out and make it feel more like a leave-in. So that's what I did. And as I did that, it appeared to be more foamy as well. I'm not sure why. I'm not really not worried about it, though. So now we're going to get into our styler. I picked up the orange marmalade, which I've seen some people use for a wash and go and like a twist out braid out situation. But um, I really haven't seen too many people use the jello shot. So I'm going to go ahead and use this today for a wash and go. This is supposed to be their stronger hold gel. So let's see what's popping. This is what the gel looks like. Nice, thick, bounce back type of gel. So let's see how it feels. Okay, I'm not even sure what this smells like, but I don't know if it's called Jello Shot because it kind of smells like it's got a little liquor in it, honey. Oh no! My hair is pretty wet from the leave-in, but I did spray more water in it. Like I said, it's a nice thick gel, so let's see how it applies. I love me a good thick gel because that lets me know I'm gonna be able to have some good clumps and shingling should not be too hard because my hair just piece itself out just piece itself out okay so that's the first little section it doesn't feel bad it feels pretty good so far when you first put it on it feels pretty thick but the water does loosen it up and it's giving me some decent clump clumpage not bad Let's try another section and see. What's you guys' wash and go method? Do you shingle or do you rake or do you just slap it on? What y'all doing all day? Okay, so this is my curls with the gel all applied. So far, it's looking pretty good. It's feeling pretty good and it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all through my hair. We're going to come back when she dry. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and this is the end result. My hair is not 100% dry. I did uh, air dry for a few hours, and then I did some diffusing, which I hate diffusing. I tried it a couple times. It's just too tedious. So, so my hair is not completely 100% dry, but I do have somewhere to go, so we're going to have to roll with it. We're going to have to let the sun do the rest. This is our hair. You guys were feeling the middle part last time, so we went with that again. The reason why I don't be really liking the middle part, though, is because this side of my hair is shorter and thinner than this side, so it never looks like this side, so I always like this side better. But we're going to roll with it. Um, so when I was diffusing, of course, I did stretch it out a little bit, so let's get into the products. For the Peppermint Snap Shampoo, I did like this. It is African Black Soap based, so if you know what that kind of feels like, 
it feels a little different than a regular shampoo um this was a good one it smelled good it didn't leave my hair stripped it gave me some nice softness to my hair and it cleaned my hair like i did like the shampoo and i will use it again for this protein milkshake, I really like the way this felt in my hair. It felt good. It made my curls pop. Had a nice, like, slip on it. So I really did like this. Um, however, you do have to go right in with the deep conditioner after that because you will feel your hair start to, like, dry up. And because it's strengthened, it's not really, like, moisturizing. It's definitely more strengthening. So you want to go right in with the banana cream um, deep conditioner. But this was a good... Uh, protein boost so I did like this for the banana cream deep conditioner I liked it I like the fact that it was like a double duty product you can use it as a deep conditioner and a leave-in using it as a leave-in it did help the gel from being too drying so that was good for that and as a deep conditioner it did leave my hair soft and moisturized so I liked it of course it's in this nice big tub so I'm gonna try to hurry up and use this before it goes bad but I did like this as a deep conditioner as well. As far as the Jello Shot gel, I do like the gel. It gave me a nice firm hold. The leave-in did its job as far as keeping my hair moisturized and doesn't feel dry. It gave me nice definition. My curls aren't too hard or too crunchy. And it's got some nice shine. I got some volume once I pulled my hair apart. And I like the gel. It is a nice gel. It smells a little weird, but other than that, I do like it. So I think you guys should definitely give these products a try. It's black owned, black woman owned. Give it a try. If you love ingredients and good ingredients, this is definitely a brand you should give a try. Everything worked the way it said it was supposed to work. So I'm not mad at any of the products. So definitely give Eco Slay a try. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.